Secured a date, but then was unadded a few hours after on Snapchat. What to do? Well, if you see something like that, that's if it's on Snapchat, it's that's typically not a good sign. And so, if you see something like that, I would text her like the day of. Maybe say you're supposed to get together at six for a drink or whatever. I would text her at maybe two in the afternoon and just say, "Hey, I'm running late." Um, you know, but I, I'm, you know, we can meet, can we meet at 630? Does that work for you? And if she doesn't reply at all, then, you know, well, she had no intention yeah. of going and you're out. But if she replied, oh, sorry, hey, I forgot. Oh, I got this coming up. I was like, no problem. We can just do it some other time. And she says, okay. That means she really didn't want to go out with you. Or because um, if you're connected and then she disengages like that, it's typically not a good sign. If you're on the dating app, like because there's a lot of girls that are hookers on a dating app these days, unfortunately, and so that's actually pretty common. If you're talking to a girl that's on there acting like she's interested in dating, when in reality she knows that there's so many gullible dudes on there and guys with more money than common sense that are desperate for a hot piece of ass. And so what they're typically going to do as soon as you match and exchange phone numbers, you'll notice on the dating app that the match goes away. And they're hoping that you don't go back and check, but when they tell you or they proposition you and tell you that they basically want you to pay them to hang out or go out on dates because they don't want to lose their dating profile because it's a good source of leads for them, what what they do is is they'll unmatch with you so that way you can't go and report them and then get their account banned because then their credit card is not going to work they can't reuse it over and over and so i you know years ago last time i was on the dating apps that's what i was seeing and uh so if, if a girl unmatches in the dating app but you're still talking and texting then you're probably dealing with a hooker yeah not a girl who's honestly looking to date She's willing to date, but she wants you to pay her. And they, they're, you know, they do it at strategic times after you talk for a while, and a guy gets himself all worked up. He's excited about meeting a girl, and then she's like, "Well, I want two grand a week, or a grand a week, or whatever, to hang out and go out on one date and sleep with you." And guys that are have been dealing with a pussy embargo, and they can afford it, they'll go, "Okay," and then they'll pay the money, and then they'll meet up. And it's kind of like a seeking arrangement type of thing. You're you're basically dating a hooker. And I've done lots of phone sessions over the years with guys that started dating women that way. And then they want to turn it into a normal girlfriend. And as soon as the money gets cut off, it's like she tends to become squirrely and disappear. Because she's, she's in it for the transaction. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife even though there's lots of dudes that are going to try. Yep. Or I was thinking she unadded him on Snapchat because maybe she was doing something bad that she uh, had already done something bad or whatever while they were talking and had it in her story and she didn't want him to see her story, like her with another guy or something like that. Maybe. That's why I said if you already got a date set up with her and you notice that she disconnects from you on social media like that, then it would be best you know, four or five hours before your date to send her a text just – telling her you got to push it back 30 minutes and that's cool with her because if she has no intention of showing up she may just completely ignore your message or she may give you some bs and and cancel you know because obviously you don't want to make a date and then drive all the way there and then text her like hey where you at so when you that's not a good sign either way no you're either dealing with a hooker or a girl that doesn't really want to see you or she's got something shady she's trying to hide from you maybe the ex came back in the picture maybe it's chad thundercock or bob thundercock yeah. or don thundercock or john thundercock but even like she's already at such a low interest though so it's not even yeah. worth going on a date with her she's already like preemptively unadding you on stuff i think nine times out of ten that she's gonna like what Corey was saying earlier she's gonna probably cancel on that date and if a girl cancels on a date with you but she does not like oh hey can we reschedule she doesn't offer that first then she's really not interested in you at all Right. Yeah, when you do the takeaway and you're just like, oh, no problem, we can do it some other time. And she just says, yeah, sure, that's great. That means she doesn't really want to do it some other time. 
But if she wants to see you and she's maybe just kind of testing you to see if she can push you around and you're like, oh, well, let's just do it some other time, she may back up and go, no, 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 I can meet. Let me, well, let me talk to my friend and I'll, I'll cancel those plans and, you know, and, and, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and go. I'll go ahead and meet you. So sometimes if a girl's interest is like borderline and she's like, eh, and then you stand up to her like that and you do the takeaway – Sometimes that's enough to make her go, okay, I'll go with this guy. Because he stood up to her. He was willing to not see her. Because a guy that's desperate and has got nothing going on will just do anything he can to get on a date with her. Whereas a guy who has other choices and other options, if he notices a lack of enthusiasm, he makes it easy to cancel the date because he doesn't want to waste his time or his money on a girl that's not that into him. Yeah. 